presentation of Retro Sports Network, home of the champions of the past, present, and or future. And good morning, everybody. My name is Ron Junkett. Welcome to the program. On a half hour earlier than we normally would be because we have a very special digital device to tape later on this afternoon. And I can't run past 1 o'clock no matter what. So we're on to make sure that we get this game in in full. And then we'll tape episode number 100 of Digital Dice. So proud of that as we start our third year. Anyway, the situation as we have it today. 154 games wasn't enough. We have now for the third time in four years in Major League Baseball a playoff. The National League had one in 1946 between these two teams. The Cardinals beat the Dodgers two games to none. And don't forget, 1948, the Red Sox and Indians met at Fenway Park as the American League did one-game playoffs, and Cleveland beat Boston and to go on to win the World Series. In fact, the last two times that the winners of playoffs, the, whoever survived the playoff, won the World Series. The Yankees would like, of course, to change history. They await the winner of this. So it is a best of three between Brooklyn and St. Louis. Brooklyn won the season series, and so we would normally give Brooklyn home field advantages for games one and three. But to be more realistic because of travel of the day and the fact that the World Series will begin at Yankee Stadium regardless of what happens over the next two to three days, uh, game one will be in St. Louis. They'll get back on their respective trains. They'll have tomorrow off. They'll go to Brooklyn to play games two and three if necessary. So this is from Tuesday, October 4th, 1949. Game two would be Thursday the 6th, and game three, if needed, would be the 7th, which would be a Friday, and then the World Series will start either on Saturday or Sunday, as far as that calendar is concerned. We will not start the World Series this week. We have backup programming for you if this series only goes two. So, right now, it's a big one. It's game 155. It's the Dodgers and the Cardinals. Next! As Retro Sports Network presents... The National League Playoff of 1949 today from Sportsman's Park in St. Louis, Missouri. It is the St. Louis Cardinals and the Brooklyn Dodgers. And today's game is brought to you by DigitalDice.com, the best darn podcast on the web for your sports simulation and replay needs. Find us today on Spotify, Spreaker, iTunes, or wherever else fine podcasts are listed. Play ball indeed, John Al Brazil takes his warm-up tosses. Cotton is 35 years old, a fastball pitcher that features Bugs Bunny and spades at 82 and a standard pitcher. He is making his 27th start. Remember, these are regular season games. 9-7 and seven with a save overall with an ERA of 315. Against the Dodgers, this will be start number five, his sixth appearance overall. 31 and a third innings, 39 hits. The Cardinals hope that these numbers don't mean a thing if you ain't got that zing. 19 runs all earned. He walked nine and struck out 15. One and two against Brooklyn with a 546 ERA. His last start. Came against the Braves on the 17th, unless he got hurt against Brooklyn on the 22nd. His last relief appearance was a one-inning outing against the Cubs on the 24th. So rest he has a ton of. He went two, allowed two hits and struck out a batter. So overall, 208 and two-thirds innings, 204 hits, 23 home runs, 82 runs in total, 73 earned. He has walked 58 and struck out 82. By the way, the lineups, of course, are mine. These games did not really happen. So, 
hopefully I do a good job with these. Here's how Brooklyn lines up. Pee Wee Reese will lead off at short. I forgot to change the first time over to the computer. And they had Jackie Robinson leading off. Oopsie, he probably should have, but no. Carl Ferrillo is in right, he'll bat second. Duke Snyder, the only lefty in the lineup for the Dodgers. He's going to bat third for me. Bert Schotten had him eighth most of, most of the year, but he really should be hitting third. Jackie Robinson cleans up at second. Gil Hodges will bat fifth and play first. We boost Roy Campanella up to sixth in the lineup. He'll be catching. Billy Cox at third. He'll bat seventh. Louis Olmo, the tickle me one at left, will bat eighth. And Joe Hatton on the mound, batting ninth. He should throw about 125 pitches. Hatton, by the way, does have experience in these playoff games. He lost game two in 46 in Brooklyn. Defensively for the Cardinals, Enos Slaughter is a five and a four in left. Chuck Deering is a six and a six in the center. Stan Musial is a nine and a seven in right. Tommy Glaviano is an eight at third. Any case, it can play, but Glaviano has earned the start. Marty Marion at short will bat or is a nine. Red Shane Deans is a nine at second. Nippy Jones, who missed the last couple weeks, we deemed him healthy enough to play, and so he'll be at first, and he's a six. Del Rice with a lefty on the mound will be the catcher. He's a five and a four behind the plate in Brazil. A six fielder with a 956 fielding percentage. If he plays his cards right, he could go deep. Jerry Staley would be first out of the pen. So everybody's had a full day rest. The season ended on Sunday. If you were with us last week, you know what happened. And so Monday was a travel day to St. Louis. Tuesday is a day of the date of this game, the 4th. Wednesday will be a travel day back to Brooklyn, and then we will settle this once and for all. Pee Wee Reese at 308, 14 homers, and 82 RBI, and let's get this going. The playoff begins with a fly ball to left field. Slaughter is there, one out. It is a clear night in St. Louis. 70 degrees, wind blowing in from left center at 2. And for those parts of the country that are hooked to television's coaxial cable and microwaves, this is the first time ever that Sportsman's Park has been shown on a national TV game. So the center of the country and the East Coast get this. And sometime overnight, you can watch the kinescope in California. Carl Ferrillo at 323. 25 homers, 130 RBI. Pitch to Carl is a ground ball to second. Shane Deans over to Jones, and that's an error. Ferrillo is on second as that throw goes into the dugout. So Shane Deans a bit excited as we get going here. And Ferrillo takes the extra base. Here's Duke Snyder, Duke at 275, 27 homers, and 92 RBI. Brazil. All sorts of tension in this one. And the best of three, you get really the one freebie. But the Cardinals don't want to go to Brooklyn needing to win two. They really just want to win one. Snyder. Base hit left field. Extra bases. Ferrillo rounds third and scores. Snyder is in with his 23rd double of the year, and the error hurts immediately as the Dodgers go up 1-0. That brings up Robinson. Jackie at 360, 17 homers, 108 RBI. Not the start the Cardinals wanted. Pitch to Robinson is a fly ball left field. Slaughter, two out. Snyder tags and will bluff. Brings up Hodges. Gill at 316. 24 homers and 115 RBI. Two best offenses in the National League going at it the next three games, possibly. So I expect there to be some runs. 
Although Brazil's ERA and WHIP clearly come close to what they did in real life. Runner on second. Hodges, ground ball, base hit left side. Snyder will round third and score. And the Dodgers have a two spot on the board here in the first. The goats are chirping already, John. It brings up Campanella, Roy at 306. 22 homers and 82 RBI. Hodges taking a long lead off of first. And he is back. Brazil deals. Campanella hits a base hit in the left field. Hodges will hold at second. No, he's going to try for third. Slaughter does not have a great arm. Their throw to third. Glaviano, no, sir. Not in time. I, yep, safe. So, indeed, the Dodgers are making a statement early. Runners on the corners, two out, and two already home here in the first. And that brings up Billy Cox. Cox and Jorgensen, should the Dodgers advance, will platoon in the World Series, along with Gene Hermansky and Louis Olmo and left. Billy at 216, six homers and 36 RBI. So the Dodgers trying to make a statement early, as John says, to make sure that they have two chances to finish this off at home. But the Cardinals haven't even batted yet. Pitch to Cox is ball four. Somebody should tell Al Brazil that he's pitching right now. Here's Olmo, the eighth batter of the inning. Louis at 325, no homers at 18, RBI. Two nothing Dodgers, top the first, two out. Remember, the Cardinals were down 3 nothing to the Cubs on Sunday and fought their way back to force this playoff. So best of three but they want, don't want to get too far behind in game one. Pitch to Olmo, Louie struck him out. He got him to swing and miss on the Bugs Bunny fastball. Two runs, three hits, and an error. Half an inning in the books. The Dodgers, too. Here come the Cardinals. So Joe Hatton at 32, again, in his second playoff for the Dodgers, Went 17 and 9 in the replay with a 3.39 ERA. He is a fastball pitcher at 83 and a flyball pitcher, which that's a big ballpark. That should work to his advantage. Against the Cardinals, he's made seven starts prior to this one: 55 and two thirds innings, 53 hits, 21 runs, 20 earned. He's walked 24 and struck out 12. He went 5-2 and two against St. Louis, which is pretty astounding. And an ERA of 3.23. His last start was against the Braves on the 28th. Now, no decision. Seven innings, five hits, a run. It was earned. Pretty impressive to be a no decision. He walked two and struck out six. The Cardinals, on August 23rd, just took him behind the woodshed and paddled the snot right out of him. Ten runs and 15 hits and six and two-thirds. Oh, boy. Talking about taking one for the team. Hatton pitched against the Cardinals on the 22nd and won four runs over six and two-thirds. Anyway, all told, 231 innings, 238 hits, 102 runs, 87 earned, 16 homers, 87 walks, and 63 strikeouts. He beat the Cardinals, as I said, on the 22nd. His last loss came to the Braves on the 5th of September. Chuck Deering leads off for St. Louis. Red Shane Deans will bat second and play second. Stan Musial, who is so grateful that his big error on Saturday did not cost the Cardinals the pennant, will bat third and play right field. Enos Slaughter and left will clean up. Nippy Jones, now I had to look on Baseball Reference. His last game was September 22nd. 
but he's still listed on the active roster, and so he's going to be active for this. He'll play first and bat fifth. Marty Marion at short will bat sixth. Tommy Glaviano at third will bat seventh. The Cardinals do have Eddie Kasich available to them. Thank you, Ramjet 361, or 30, let me do this again, because now I see it, Ramjet 36, 1967, says. And he, by the way, is our 187th follower. Just picked up Action PC Baseball. Thank you very much, and I appreciate you watching. Uh, where was I? Marion is at short, he'll bat six. Glaviano is at third, he'll bat seventh. Tommy should start, but... Kasich is there, and if the Cardinals make the World Series, I wouldn't hesitate to put Kasich in the lineup. He was an all-star. Del Rice with the lefty on the mound will bat eighth. And catch and Al Brazil, 30 pitches in his half of the first. Ramjet's good. My nickname as a kid was Ronnie Ramjet, by the way. Brazil threw 30 pitches. He should throw about 125. Defensively for the Dodgers. Louis Olmo is a two and a six and left. Duke Snyder is a 9 and an 8 in center. Carl Ferrillo is an 8 and a 10 in right. Billy Cox is a 5 at third. Remember, he and Jorgensen will platoon. Pee Wee Reese a 9 at short. Jackie Robinson, who I don't think still has the MVP wrapped up. What happens over these next two days means a lot. He's an 8 at second. Gil Hodges a 9 at first. Roy Campanella a 9 and a 6 behind the plate. And Hatton is a 7 on the mound with a 9.57 fielding percentage. D-ring, computer by the way. No, I'm running the Cardinals. Computer running the Dodgers. And when we get to Brooklyn, I'll be doing the Dodgers. And the computer will be running the Cardinals. D-ring at 3.24. Four homers and 39 RBI. Hatton winds and deals. And it's popped up. Reese by the bag at second. One out. Brings up Shane Deist, red at 291, 20 doubles, two homers, and 68 RBI. Pitch from Hatton. Ball four. So Shane Deist draws the walk, four up and out of the zone. And that brings up Musial. Stanley helps you do things right. 308, 28 homers, and 112 RBI. And again, he was the MVP the last day of the season. I wouldn't say he underperformed. But he was on the low side of the bell curve. Pitch to Musial. Up the middle. Robinson makes the catch. Throws to first. And they got him. They catch Shane Deans napping. And that's the inning. No runs. No hits. No errors. Shane Deans with a mental error to go along with his error in the top of the inning. After one, it's the Dodgers two, the Cardinals nothing. So Robinson made a leaping catch, saw that Shane Deans was well off the bag, got up and threw, and Shane Deans was a dead duck. There wasn't anything usually could do about that. Robinson just robbed him. So here's Joe Hatton. Joe at 135 and 7 RBI. This is not the start the Cardinals wanted. But as soon as we see the goat herder, I bet things change. Pitch to Joe. Struck him out. Got him on an 0-2 looking. One out for Pee Wee Ray. So Brazil is opening 9 on 33 pitches. An inning and a third, three hits, two unearned runs. He walked one and struck out two. So the Cardinals just need to take a breath. And Reese is 0 for 1. Struck him out. He got him to look on an 0-2 changeup, two out. So Brazil is taking things into his own hands and controlling the game. Carl Ferrillo reached on an error and scored. Shane Deans threw it away and was lucky he didn't beat anybody in the St. Louis dugout. Ground ball, base hit, right side. A little liner that got past Shane Deans. And there's a two-out single. Here's Snyder. 
The Duke, an RBI double his first time up. 93 now for Mr. Snyder on the season. He scored his 86th run. 2 nothing Dodgers. Packed house here in St. Louis. Brazil. And there's a ground ball right side. Base hit. Ferrillo will. What will he do? He will try for third. Musil's got it. The throw. He's got a good arms. Close. Safe. Laviano got the tag down, but Ferrillo's hand remained on the bag. And so a two out single for Snyder. That's a fifth hit for Brazil. I got to sneeze. Hold on. Pretend that that was just two. Here's Robinson. He's 0 for 1. Runners on the corners. Dodgers threatening here in the second. Jackie is 0 for 1. Jerry Staley loosening in the bullpen for the Cardinals. Pitch to Robinson is in the center field. Deering going back. Should make. No, he drops it. He dropped the ball. Ferrillo scores. Robinson's on with a two base error. And for the Cardinals, it's like a prom dress on prom night. It's all come undone. Oh, dear. Is right. It's 3 nothing Brooklyn. Here's Hodges. Gill is one for one with an RBI single. Brad, I'll owe you an email and a video, by the way. I just haven't had the chance to do that yet. Yes, for one of your questions, you're getting a, a video. So... The Cardinals have made two errors that they've been charged for. Yeah, this is this is the uh, this is the wake up and you find yourself naked in school nightmare for St. Louis. Holy Jesus. It's a good thing for St. Louis. This is the best of three. So runners on first and second. Brazil has not allowed an earned run yet. And if Steiner and Robinson score, they're still not earned because there's two out. Hodges in the left field. Slaughter going back. Makes the catch to retire the side. Well, we'll see if three is enough. A run on two hits and a bad error by Chuck Deering. We go to the bottom of the second. It is three nothing Brooklyn. So Slaughter, Jones, and Marion to face Joe Hatton, who's gotten himself quite a cushion. It's like someone gave the Cardinals a staple gun and told them to point them at their shoes. As long as they pitch Branca in the rubber match. It'll be Newcomb and Brackeen in game two. And I forgot who we're going with in game three. I knew who was going to go. Preacher Rowe or Jack Banta for Brooklyn against Howie Poet in game three. So Brooklyn has a lot of match, a lot of options. Here's Slaughter, 349, 11 homers and 83 RBI. And he lines out one to third. Cox is there, one out. Some good matchups all the way through. Thought about Jerry Steely for St. Louis, but Brazil hadn't pitched in a while. And, well, although the runs aren't earned, he hasn't covered himself in glory so far. Here's Nippy Jones, 351, 7 homers, 72 RBI. Hatton deals. Ground ball to second. Robinson over to first. Two out. The Yankees were going to go with any low pad if the Dodgers had won the pennant before on Sunday. But because of the extra rest, they will be able to go with Vic Rashi in game one of the World Series. The thought being Preacher Rowe or Jack Banta in game one of the World Series, if it's Brooklyn. 
and St. Louis has options as well. Yeah, it's a long way from being over there, Ramjet. Where are you from, buddy? Marion, who I'm contractually obligated to say is a 1944 NL MVP. 274, 12 homers, and 73 RBI. Pitch to Marion is a base hit in the left field. Omo picks it up, and Marty has the first hit for the Cardinals. It'll bring up Blobby out. Wisconsin. We're speaking to some someone from Wisconsin in about an hour, which is why we're doing this a half hour early today. As we tape episode 100 of the Digital Device Podcast. Glaviano at 293, three homers and 32 RBI. CBS Sports does not have me under under a wrap, baby, but under contract. Braves and Brewers fan, there you go. No, I've got the <laughs> contractually obligated. <laughs> Nope, it's true. I'm contractually obligated to say that. By the power invested in me and the defunct sports division at ABC. Because they own me. They're my daddy. Anybody knows where I could find a relatively cheap NBC sports banner, I would take that. Yep. I don't mind that one. That was pretty funny. Oh, you think you might know who I might be speaking with? Hmm? From Wisconsin? For episode 100? Hmm? Pitch to Glaviano as a ground ball hat and snares it over to first, and that will retire the side. So, no runs, a hit, and no errors. We go to the third. It is still Brooklyn 3, St. Louis nothing. Just listen to my last I've never actually talked with the person that we're speaking to today. Obviously, Gardner isn't it, but Braves of the 50s and 60s were your heroes. Okay. All those years in Milwaukee and they never had a losing season. So who'd you think I was talking to? It's not Mr. Berglund. Here's Roy Campanella. No, not Kurt. Roy singled his first time up. He's one for one. It's not Aaron Rodgers, no. Or Sixto Lescano, absolutely not. Did Rodgers sign with Green Bay yet? Is that saga done? Tells you just how little I pay to the attention of the NFL. Campanella in the right field. That's a base hit. Deering will throw it in, and that's the sixth hit for the Dodgers. Brings up Billy Cox, who walked his first time up. But you're right, Kurt actually now is a proud member of Green Bay. Done for this year. Okay. Dodgers 3 nothing in the third. Cardinals have made more mental mistakes. The two errors, three under in runs, and then Red Chandings was doubled off of first on a snare by Jackie Robinson. Yeah, Rod Rodgers will move on. Do you think that he could play and host Jeopardy at the same time? Pitch to Cox. Billy in the center field. Back goes Deering. Chuck will flag this one down. Campanella make, will hold it first. One out for Olmo. Louis struck out his first time up. Noontime Eastern tomorrow and Friday if needed. John asks if people in Wisconsin are pro or anti Rogers right now. Pitch to Olmo. Louis, ground ball to third, might be two. Glaviano, Shane Deans for one. They go around the horn for two. Five, four, three, and it's finally a quiet inning for Brazil and the Cardinals. No runs, a hit, and no errors. The Dodgers, by the way, have left five on. We go to the bottom of the third inning. It's 3 nothing Brooklyn. So Rice, Brazil, and Deering. To face Hatton here in the third. Dell at 274, two homers and 33. RBI. Pitch to Rice. Ball four. 
which alludes to a bunt situation. Brazil at 113, no homers, NATO RBI. Second to walk for Hatton. Cox and Hodges play for the bunt. Brazil obliges, he squares. Campanella's got it, throw to first. Robinson covers, one out. Now, Ron, move the mouse back away from the sack button. So Rice moves to second. Deering is 0 for 1. Hatton is opening 9 on 40 pitches. Two in the third innings. A hit and two walks. Speaking of future guests, if you are not a subscriber to Super Bowl Tournament on YouTube, you should be. Al and I do a preview game on the beta for Pro Strategy Football 2022. We did the 1977 Dallas Cowboys and 2005 Pittsburgh Steelers, the Hall of Fame game, and show off Harry Bat's amazing work. That's tonight at 8 on Super Bowl Tournament's YouTube channel. Or by the time you see this on YouTube, it'll be on Super Bowl Tournament's channel. Mike from the truck, a magnificent job as beta tester. So Deering steps in one out. Okay. Pitch to Deering. There's a base hit up the middle. Robinson can't get there. Rice will try to go home. No, he's going to hold. I'm coaching St. Louis, not Brooklyn. So, Isn't that a nice shot? Most of these older stadiums, Ram Jet, are from the old game High Heat in 2000. And someone made stills with the empty fields and uploaded them. I've had this pack forever. And they just look fantastic. You wait till you see the one we do from Ebbets Field tomorrow. Shane Deanst walked his first time up. Runner is on the corners. And one out. 3 nothing Brooklyn. Game one of this best of three. Pitch to Shane Deanst. Red is into center field. That should get Rice home. Snyder will snare it. Rice to tag, and he will try and score. Snyder has a good arm. There's going to be a play at the plate. No. Rice is safe. Deering moves to second. It was close, but after the dirt cleared, he is called safe. Two out. Three to one now, Brooklyn. So Deering on second. Stan Musial, the tying run at the plate. Stan is 0 for 1. Hatton deals. Base hit. Left field. That's going to score Deering. Musial's got two. His 46th double of the year. And the Cardinals have made this a one-run game. So three to two now. And that brings up Enos Slaughter. Enos is 0 for 1. Pitch. Ground ball to second. Reese over to first, and that's thrown away. Hodges goes to get it. The run scores, and we're tied up. The throw was high. It did not go in the dugout, but Musial saw that one all the way and did the head-up thing and scored. And so all the work that Brooklyn did to put some pressure on St. Louis has all come undone. And that brings up Nikki, uh, Nippy Jones, who's 0 for 1. The goats are not happy. And the Cardinal fans come out of the woodwork. Pitch. There's a ground ball to Robinson. Jackie goes for the out at first, and that will retire the side. But St. Louis gets it all back. Three runs, two hits, and an error. We go to the fourth. It is Brooklyn three, St. Louis three. So Hatton, Reese, and Ferrillo to face Brazil here in the fourth. Tribe fan, how are you? Joe struck out his first time up. Brooklyn two in the first, one in the second. And then the Cardinals just put a three spot up to tie it. Joe struck out his first time up. 
Brazil's pitch. There's a ground ball to third. Glaviano across the way, one out. We'd show you the standings, but what you see on the screen is the only game going on, the only game that matters. They're both 92 and 62, and sometime over the next two to three days, someone is going to win themselves a pennant. Tribe fan channeling his inner Bachman turning, turning overdrive, taking care of business and working overtime. Here's P.B. Reese. He's 0 for 2 with a strikeout. Brazil, 74 pitches for his first 18. Three in a third inning, six hits, a walk, and three strikeouts. He delivers Pee Wee in the center field. Deering going back and makes the catch. It is six, this is technically a night game. 64 degrees, winds blowing in from center at six. The Cardinals looking for their fifth pennant of the 1940s. And their fourth World Series win. The Dodgers looking for their third pennant of the decade and their first World Series. Perillo one for two and is singled and scored twice. Remember, he reached on that Aaron the first and scored. In the center field, Deering comes in, makes the catch, and out will retire the side. So, the Dodgers go down in order. No runs, no hits, and no errors. Bottom of the fourth here in St. Louis, 3-3. So, Marty Marion singled his first time up. Brad's off of quiet. Two of those three runs for St. Louis, by the way, were earned. Pitch to Marty. Here's a base hit right center field. Farrillo will pick it up. Marty takes a wide turn and will hold. Brings up Glaviano. Tommy's 0 for 1. Fourth hit for St. Louis. New Eastern, 9 a.m. tomorrow. We all take the A train back to Brooklyn, and it will be Harry the Cat Burkeen for St. Louis against Don Newcomb, the Rookie of the Year for the Dodgers. They both pitch Saturday, so they would be going on full rest. Newcomb pitched nervous and lost his start. Oh, barely won a start, and Burkeen didn't pitch all that well. I think that's how it went. Anyway, that's the pitching matchup tomorrow. Flaviano popped up. Right side, Robinson in foul territory by the bullpens. Makes the catch, one out. Brings up Mr. Rice. Dell walked and scored in the third. So he said... In the open, these two teams played a best of three in 46. Game one was here in St. Louis, and they won. Game two was in Brooklyn, and St. Louis won. They swept them. Of course, in 51, there was a real playoff between the Dodgers and the Giants, and you know how that went. Pitch to Rice is a slow bounder to second. Robinson... Reese for one, over to Hodges. Rice is safe. He beat it out. So four, six on the fours. Two out for Brazil, who had to bunt his first time up. Hey, Ramjet. Uh, if you got questions, you can always ask them in the chat. That would probably be the best way. Or leave a comment. I do read all the comments, and I can get back to you. And, of course, everything gets loaded back up into YouTube within 24 after 24 hours. There's an embargo because I do Twitch for monies. So they want their exclusives for 24 hours. So we'll talk to you soon, hopefully. Pitch to Brazil is a ground ball up the middle. Hatton snares it over to Hodges. And that will retire the side.
No runs. They hit the do uh, the Cardinals. Leave a runner on. We go to the fifth. It's Brooklyn three, St. Louis three. Well, thank you so much. I do appreciate it. Here's Snyder. Duke two for two. Single, double. Drove home his 93rd of the year. Brazil starts the fifth. In the right center. Back goes Musial. One out. This one has turned into what we thought it would be a tense affair. Here's Jackie. Jackie's 0 for 2. Base hit. Right field. Musial grabs it. Robinson. Oof. Goes back to the bag. Seventh hit for the Dodgers. Here's Hodges. Gill has singled and driven in a run. Throw to first. Robinson is back. Here's the pitch out. He goes. The throw down to Shane Deanst and Jackie has it stolen. Number 39 on the year. So the go-ahead run in scoring position was one out in the fourth. By the way, Ramjet 36, 1967, is our latest follower. Throw it a second, Shane Deanston, they get Robinson, and Robinson is safe, but no longer an imminent threat to steal. A 1 0 to Hodges. Popped up, right side, Jones, out of play. A ball and a strike now to Gill. There is a pop-up center field. Deering coming in, makes the catch, and Robinson goes back. He will go to third and is safe. Well, that looked pretty shallow to me, but Deering didn't think he'd get him, and so the throw went in the infield. So Robinson on third for Campanella. Roy is single twice. Tribe fan says, I'm sure I've mentioned this once before, but on that final playoff game in 19... Oh, okay. I'll, I read it, and now I'll read it as Vinny. I'm sure this has been mentioned once before, but on that faint, fateful final playoff game in 1951, a young man named David Mark Winfield was born in St. Paul, Minnesota, a man blessed with many talents. Sometimes you guys just make it too easy. Robinson on third. Two out top the fifth. Brazil working through his pitch count rather fast. Lines and deals. There's a ground ball right back up the box. Over to first and St. Louis gets out of it. Dodgers get a hit and leave them on. At halfway home in game one of this National League playoff series. It's the Dodgers three, the Cardinals three. We'll be back right after this. Well, if you joined us late here in game one of this three-game NL playoff, I'm not calling it the National League Championship Series, although they probably should have. The Dodgers and Cardinals finish the season tied, and through four and a half innings in game one, they are tied. Dodgers, eight to the plate in the first inning. Duke Snyder doubled home Carl Ferrillo to make it one nothing Brooklyn. Gil Hodges singled home Snyder to make it 2 nothing. And this, both of those runs were unearned. In the second, Jackie Robinson hit a fly ball to Chuck Deering that he couldn't handle, and that made it 3 nothing Brooklyn. And all was right in the world of goats. But in the bottom of the third inning, the Cardinals struck back. Red Shandings, the sack fly to make it 3-1. to one. Stan Musial doubled down the line and left to make it 3-2. to two. That scored Chuck Deering. 
And then Ina Slaughter with a ground ball that Jackie Robinson, of all people, misplayed. And that tied the game at three. So Joe Hatton, a four-hitter through four. Two of those runs for St. Louis are earned. He's walked two and hasn't struck on anybody. And Brazil has allowed seven hits through five, but nothing earned of those three runs. And that is how we got here. So 82 pitches through 18 batters. Four innings, four hits, and two walks, and two are in runs for Hatton. Deering has a single and a run scored. He's one for two. Line or drive to Hatton, or ground ball, rather. Come back here in any event and throw the first one out. Here's Shane Deans. Red has an RBI and a walk. He's 0 for 1. made an error in the field in the first and then got doubled off his first time up pitch to Shane Deanst is in the left the crowd likes it back goes Omo in the corner two out brings up Musial Stan is one for two had an RBI double in the third and scored hitting 309 now on the season Right back to Hatton. Two out. And so, oh, three out. So that retires the side. Ron's paying attention. No runs, no hits, no errors. Brazil isn't probably going to motor through six, and that's about it. We've played five in game one, three, three. So Cox, Omo, and Hatton. Billy is 0 for 1 with a walk. Got him. That's his fourth. He swings and misses on the slow fastball. One out for Omo, who's 0 for 2 with a strikeout. Fouled off the mask of Rice. Ouch. We take a moment to see if Dell knows where he is. He says Toronto, and they say that's close enough, and the count is zone one. Got him! An 0-2 in there at the knees, and that's two out for Hatton, who's 0 for 2 with a strikeout. So Brazil, boy, he was nervous, gang, in the early part of the game, but he settled right in there. Speaking of Winfield. Better MLB trade. Winfield from the Twins to the Indians for a dinner? Or the recent John Axford from Toronto to Milwaukee for a dollar? Depends where the dinner was, I suppose. Advantage push. <laughs> Pitch to Hatton is a ground ball to short. Marion has it over to first, and that will. Retire the side. No runs, no hits, no errors. We go to the bottom of the sixth here in game one, three, three, the score. So Slaughter, Jones, and Marion. Enos is 0 for 2. Game 2 tomorrow at noon Eastern. Back to our normal time for lunchtime broadcast. Don Newcomb and Harry Burkeen from Ebbets Field. Slaughter. Little number past the mound. Robinson throws to first on the bang banger, and Slaughter is retired. Brings up Nippy Jones, who's 0 for 2. Hatton deals to short. Pee Wee over to first side retired. We've played six. No runs, no hits. Or oh, there's two out. Ha <laughs> ha! Brings up Marty Marion, and that's the advantage of a real broadcaster and a YouTube streamer right there. Marty Marion is single twice. <laughs> he looks up at the booth going, come on, man. I set off my speaker by that. Pitch to Marion. There's a ground ball foul, third base side. Three and two, the count. 
So a full count. Hatton might come out to pitch the seventh. But it'll be a bullpen game for both of these teams before too long. Got him. First strikeout for Hatton. He got him on a full count fastball in the outside corner. No run. There we go. Now no runs, no hits, no errors. Thanks, John. After six, it is 3-3. So Brazil, in his last inning, I'm sure, he'll bat third in the bottom of the seventh to face Pee Wee Reese, Carl Ferrillo, and Duke Snyder. Pee Wee is 0 for 3 with a strikeout. Three runs, seven hits, an error for the Dodgers. They've left on six. St. Louis, three runs, four hits, and two errors. And they've left on three. And just like when the Cardinals forced the playoff, they came from behind to do it. Brown ball to third. Glaviano, one out. By the way, they are pushing their luck. And you can get World Series tickets for games three, four, and five here at Sportsman's Park. Tickets on sale after the game. And if you bring in uh, empty six-pack bottles of Falstaff, then you will get a certificate for a free Falstaff if you buy a World Series ticket. Here's Ferrillo. Carl, one for three. He singled and scored twice. Remember, in 1949, the Bushes don't own the Cardinals yet. Pitch to Ferrillo. There's a fly ball to left. Slaughter going back in the corner. Makes the catch. Two out. Not sure who would be calling this game on television for our national NBC audience or and anybody audience. Snyder, by the way, two for three with a double and RBI. But it would be Red Barber and Connie Desmond on the Dodger radio network. Somebody by the name of Vince Scully is listening back in New York going, gosh, it might be fun to do this for a living. And in St. Louis, you're listening to Harry, Ca Harry Carey and Gabby Street. Pitch to Snyder. There's a line drive, base hit into center field. Deering throws it back in. The Duke's got two. Got himself a double. And the go-ahead run is on second. Two out for Robinson. Jackie. One for three, he singled and then promptly stole his 39th base of the year. Rice goes out to settle Brazil down. And Jackie hits a base hit into center field. Snyder will do what? Round third. Deering is up with it. The throw to the play. Not in time. Four, three, Dodgers. Jackie Robinson in RBI single and Brooklyn goes ahead again. Deering has a slightly above average arm and Snyder just had a full head of steam running around third. So two out for Hodges. Crown ball base hit. Now the Cardinals don't want to bring in a pitcher. Robinson goes to third. Runners on the corners for Campanella. If you were to double switch, you would do it for Glaviano because you got Kasich on the bench. So Eddie Dyer is hoping that Brazil can stop the hemorrhaging right here. Robinson on third. Hodges on first. Campy is two for three. He has single twice. 4 3 Brooklyn. Up the middle. Marion over to first, and that's it. Stretch time. 4 3 Brooklyn.
So the Dodgers push in the go-ahead run here in the top of the seventh to make it four to three. Van Patrick called games for Mutual on radio, of course, and probably would have done this game nationally on the radio. But he was not the not that one. There was a Van somebody on that did the Bills games. Very good announcer in those Super Bowl years for Buffalo. But this Van Patrick um, did play-by-play -play for the Lions and the Tigers for a little bit. Longtime Lions announcer. The first radio announcer for Monday Night Football on Mutual Radio. And called Notre Dame games on Mutual Radio. Died of a heart attack. Rather portly fellow. But he called the last time the Lions won an NFL championship. And it was so long ago, it wasn't the Super Bowl, it was the NFL championship. Laviano, by the way, is 0 for 2 as we start the bottom of the 7th. Pitch to Tommy. Struck him out. That's the second for Hatton. 1 2 fastball up there at the knees. Del Riso for one, walked and scored. Dodgers, by the way, had a young announcer. Speaking of the Tigers, I think he was still there in 49 by the name of Ernie Harwell. And he was the Dodger third, remember? He worked three innings on television back in Brooklyn on WOR Channel Line. Three innings on the radio. I want to say WHN or WMGM 1050 and he had three innings off and of course this is the day and age when you didn't work with the color guy you worked by yourself you filled in the pictures pitch to Rice is a fly ball left field Omo goes back and makes the catch two out and now we'll pinch hit for Brazil Al's day is done. He's in line for the loss. All right, sing it with me. Who can hit a lefty? And we're going to bring in Eddie Kasich. Eddie does not have a pinch hit. 303 on the year, six homers, 60 RBI. Injured at the All Star break. Did some pinch hitting in September of 49, but did not play again as a starter in the field. Hatton at the end of his outing. Two outs here in the seventh. Kasich. Got him. That worked. So a one-two change up on the outside corner at 70. That thing looked like a knuckleball. After seven, four, three, Brooklyn. So Kazik stays in the game and will bat ninth. Fred Martin pitched two days ago. Can't really go with him again. It'll be Ted Wilkes. Ted, nine and nine with eight saves and an ERA of three and a half. Cork is 33, a fastball pitcher, 87, and a ground ball pitcher. Against Brooklyn, 7th relief appearance now. 10 innings, 13 hits, 6 runs, all earned. He has walked 5 and struck out 3. Owned 1 with 2 saves and an ERA of 540. Last pitched on the 1st, so 3 days ago, Saturday, against the Cubs. He went 1 inning. Allowed a hit, walked a batter, and struck out a man. 82 in the 3rd innings, 82 hits. He gave up 6 homers, 41 runs. 32 earned. He walked 30 and struck out 54. So Cox, Omo, and pitcher spot here in the eighth. Billy is 0 for 2 with a walk and a strikeout. They don't want to go with Staley if they don't need him. You would use Jerry for long relief. Pitch to Cox. Billy hits a ground ball up the middle. Marion with a stop over the first one out. 
Here's Olmo. Louie has struck out twice and grunted into a double play. That's 0 for 3. Base hit left field. Slaughter. One out. Or a single. 11th hit for the Dodgers. Four runs, 11 hits, and an error for Brooklyn. They've left on eight. Three runs, four hits, and two errors for St. Louis. Joe Hatton has held the Cardinals to four hits, and they've only left on three. If he bats, he's 0 for 3 with a strikeout. Kazik and Jones play for the bunt. Now they'll guard the Lions with one out as Spider Jorgensen will pinch it. Spider right out of central casting. 296, no homers, and 14 RBI. Jorgensen, base hit up the middle. Omo will go to third. Deering holds it, throws it back in. One out. And runners on the corners. Here's Pee Wee. Here. There, I sound like a cross between Peter Brady and a dog. Pee Wee Reese is 0 for 4 with a strikeout. Spider Jorgensen has no speed at first. Dodgers 4, Cardinals 3, top of the 8th. Game 1. Game two tomorrow at our conventional time of noon Eastern. Don Newcomb hoping with a chance to pitch the Dodgers into the World Series against Harry Burkeen from Ebbets Field. Pitch to Pee Wee is a slow roller to third. Casey can't play it. Almost scores. It's five to three, Brooklyn. Eddie, who hasn't played in the field in a while, got under his glove. It took one of those weird hops. They must have played some sort of football here at Sportsman's. We'll blame it on a bad football field. And that's another unearned run. No, it is earned. They're giving it's an earned run. So it brings up Ferrillo. Carl, one for four, is singled and scored twice. Jorgensen on second, Reese on first. Double play gets the Cardinals out of it. Perillo in the center field. Back goes Deering. Two out. Jorgensen, he better not tag. He does not. Here's Snyder. Duke has doubled twice. He is three for four. He's singled and scored twice. So 5-3 Brooklyn here in the top of the eighth inning. Rice and Wilkes meet. Ted deals. Snyder. That's going to drop in for a base hit in the right field. Jorgensen will score. Reese goes in to third. It's 6 to 3, Brooklyn. And for Snyder, that's his fourth hit today. Where, where's D. Scott? He should be pretty happy about now. Here's Robinson. Jackie, 2 for 4. And a single twice, stolen base, and has an RBI. Brad says that's why he's the Duke of Flatbush. For sure. Here's Robinson. Pitch from Wilkes. Jackie in the right field. Musial will make the catch. Now will retire the side, but the Dodgers get two big hits. Or two big runs on three hits and an error. The Goats are going back and forth. They're not trying to jinx anything. Bottom eight, Rex Barney. Sign that man to a contract. 6-3 Brooklyn. So Barney, who is not a big old purple fluffy dinosaur, making his 33rd appearance of the year. 11-4 and four and four saves in an ERA of 440. Against the Cardinals, this is his fourth appearance. Three and two-thirds innings. Four hits, a run, it was earned. He's walked three and struck out one. He has two saves. He's not pitched since September 19th. Six innings, four hits. That was against the Cubs, by the way. Three runs, two earned, and a win in a start. He's walked three and struck out four. So overall, 141 innings, 102 hits, 12 homers, the future PA for the Baltimore Orioles, 73, no, or Baltimore or Minnesota? 
73 runs, 69 earned. He's walked 99 and struck out 84. His last appearance against the Cardinals was on July 29th. Two walks and two innings in a save. So it's the top of the lineup for St. Louis. Deering, Shane needs to usual. Chuck is one for three. A single and that run in the third inning. So for the second time today, the Dodgers have a three-run lead. In the center field, Snyder comes in, one out. Brings up Shane Deanst. Be a long train ride for the Cardinals. The Brooklyn boys will be playing some poker, I'm sure. But three errors in the field, and Shane Deans getting doubled off in the first, will leave a sour taste in your mouth if you're a St. Louis Cardinal fan. Pitch to red. There's a line drive to right. Ferrillo can't get it. That's going to drop in for a single. Ferrillo played him too deep, and Shane Deans is on with a hit. And that'll bring up Musial. And the Goats are bringing the paper bags back out. Stan is one for three. Has a double, an RBI, and a run scored. Slaughter on deck. Only the fifth hit for the Cardinals. Base hit, right field. Shane Deanst will hold at second. So runners on first and second. For Slaughter. Enos is 0 for 3. He is now the tying run. Here's the pitch. Base hit. Right field. Extra bases. Shane Dean scores. Musial will hold at third. Slaughter has his 40-second double. And with one out, the tying run is in scoring position. There are web pages as we speak going up to Jinx. D. Scott Howard. Here's Nippy Jones. He's 0 for 3. So the Cardinals, you see why we're in a, in a best of three playoff here, don't you? Pitch to Jones. In the right center. That will score Musial. Snyder will make the catch. Stan goes back to tag. He scores without a throw. And it's 6 to 5, Brooklyn. With two out. And that brings up Marty Marion, who was two for three. He has singled twice and struck out. Wilkes is on deck. It'll be Hodges, Campanella, and Cox. For the Dodgers in the ninth. <laughs> MVP. MVP. So Barney is pitching like a smelly purple dinosaur. Lines and deals. Ground ball to Robinson. Jackie throws it to first. And the Dodgers get out of it. Everybody take a deep breath. Two runs, three into no errors. We go to the ninth in game one, the Dodgers six, the Cardinals five. So Hodges is two for four. Gill is single twice and drove in his 116th. Six runs, 13 hits and error, and they've left on 10. St. Louis five runs, seven hits and they've, uh, three errors, and they've left on four. Both teams are 92 and 62. Pitch to Hodges. In the center field, Deering, one out. It'll be pitcher spot Rice and Kazik for the Cardinals in the ninth. Campanella is two for four. Wilkes deals. In the center field, Deering, two out. For Billy Cox, who's 0 for 3. He has walked and struck out. Don't forget tonight on Super Bowl Tournament YouTube channel, Al Red Sox fan and I preview Pro Strategy Football 2022. 
with Mike from the truck. Terry Batts, the creator of the game, joins us for the most of it. And the game you'll see, the 77 Cowboys and the 2005 Pittsburgh Steelers in the Hall of Fame game. Pitch to Cox, ball four. Wilkes thought he had him. That was a 3-1 changeup outside. Doesn't like the call. Two out for Olmo. Louie, one for four. Has singled, scored, and struck out twice. In the left field, Slaughter in the corner, makes the catch in the bullpen, and Tommy Brown will come in to play left field. Well, time to attach the fibrillator. It's cardiac time here in St. Louis. Tommy Brown coming in to play left field. He's a five and a six. Out goes Wilkes. Who can hit a righty? Sally Hemus, 8 for 29 in the replay, 200 as a pinch hitter, 276 and 4 RBI. Barney, trying to nail down three outs to give Brooklyn a chance to wrap this one up tomorrow at lunch. In the right field, Ferrillo, one out. Here's Rice, he's 0 for 2, boy, 169 projected batting average. Here is Yola says, I want a bat. I want a bat. Tire tells him, go take care of your thinning hair. Pitch to Rice. In the left center field. Brown gets the chance to out. And the Cardinals are down to their last out. Six runs, 13 hits, an error. And the Dodgers have left on 11. The Cardinals, five runs, seven hits, and three errors. And they've left on four. Kazik struck out, pinch hitting in the seventh. Barney takes a deep breath, winds and deals. Popped up, Campanella off with the mask, 1-0 Brooklyn. They win it 6-5. And that will be a happy train ride home across half the country. Rex Barney does his job. Joe Hatton wins his 18th of the year. Duke Snyder is your Digital Dice MVP, 4 for 5 and 2 RBI. Hatton, 7 innings, 4 hits, 3 runs, 2 earned. He walked 2 and struck out 3. Rex Barney, boy, he was sketchy in the 8th, but held it together in the ninth. 2 innings, 3 hits, 2 runs, both earned. He picks up the save. We'll talk to you tomorrow at noontime. Al Brazil, one earned run. Brooklyn had four unearned runs. Oh, what might have been. Well, Don Newcomb and the pennant, maybe tomorrow. Noon Eastern, 9 Pacific. I will see you then. Remember, episode 100 with a very special guest drops today, hopefully, from Digital Dice. Take care. So long, everybody.